if you go on pretty well, I think you you kind of feel like you're um, a little bit bulletproof. You can kind of um, keep up whatever the pace is or um, kind of push the pace even. But I think a lot of the time you just got to put your ego away. At the end of the day, it's only training. Um, no one really remembers training too much. Obviously, racing is the, the important one. So I think if you're tired or something's not going right, you kind of just, yeah, got to put that ego in the back pocket and kind of just do what you think is going to be best. Because um, obviously... Got, if you go too hard, it's going to put you in the put you in the hurt locker for a couple of days or even a week, or you might get hurt or sick, and it's going to put you further back. So you kind of yeah, got to kind of hold back sometimes to go ahead, I guess. So I think that's a big thing. You got to kind of understand your body when you are tired or something's not right, and kind of make sure you don't go over the limit too much. I think you can get away with it occasionally in training, but if you're doing it too often, I think um, yeah, you you kind of putting yourself in the danger zone of some some gone wrong, whether that's injury or sickness or you kind of get a little bit burnt out. So I think, um, yeah, it's kind of monitoring yourself and not, not worrying about too much what other people are doing as well. Yeah, I used to notice one thing, whenever I was running well, uh, I would always have this this deep level of confidence in the work that I was doing. Um, and when you can tie, string a couple of races together and your, your training's going well, you're recovering nicely, you sort of you just naturally start to back yourself a little bit. You go, all right, whatever I'm doing is really working. And I can only imagine for, <laughs> for a bloke like yourself who's now, what do you got? You got three the three aussie records so far i'm i'm stewie i've got my money on you for that five as well i can't wait till you get an opportunity but um you're you're looking at your your training you're looking at your races there must just be a a heap of confidence that comes with just doing the work that you're doing and then putting the results on your board i guess it's harder to lose confidence when you're sort of in a little bit of a you know a little bit of a hot spot like you are yeah i think you're in in running, you do need confidence. I think when you stand on the start line against good guys, you kind of got to believe you you should be on the start line. You should be you got to believe that you can compete with them. But I think um, it's like anyone you have any European season, even you'll have ups and downs, and you'll kind of go in and out of confidence. But I think and you just got to focus on having that confidence that if you go out there and give it your best, that that's pretty much all you can do. So I think that's kind of approach I take to most races that. Um, you got to have the confidence that you're willing to give it everything you've got, um, and then if it's not good enough, it's not good enough, and you kind of you can live with that pretty easy. So I think that's a big thing, just believing that you can go out there and um, give yeah give it 100. percent Yeah, Stewie, the mindset something I'm fascinated in, and I wanted to know whether it was um, is is that an area of your game that you're you're sort of structured and focused on, or does that confidence just come with continually putting the results on the board? Because I think anyone who watched you over in Europe this year, and, and one of the things I, I was just pumped for you with was it looked like you had a just a different level of confidence in the way that you were racing. And the, the first time I saw it was, I can't remember, it might have been Monaco, but you, you were racing Ingebrigtsen and that, the little Kenyan fella, and you came around him with about 250 metres to go. And I thought, holy crap, he's actually laying it down. And it was the first time that I'd probably seen an Aussie since Mottram in a middle distance race go, all right, I can, I can take these boys. So is that is that something that comes just because you've been putting the times on the board, or have you adapted your mindset to um, just sort of complement your your racing? Yeah, I think a lot of it does come down to once you do get a few solid results on the board, you kind of start believing you should be in those kind of races, and you start believing that you can compete can compete with the top guys. But I think um, a lot of it is just the mentality going in, um, not knowing what you do off the training track, if you can apply it to the racetrack you're going to be um yeah you're going to be in a good good chance in it in any kind of race you're in so i think um yeah the big thing is just that mentality building it over you gain the confidence from some solid racing and training but i think a lot of it's just going in with the belief that you can um you can do it even if you get to a race and it turns out you can't do it but being able to still go in and think you can do it is um yeah i think it's a pretty important trait especially when you're in some of the bigger races and you're racing the top guys in the world, I think if you don't if you don't truly believe you're meant to be there, I think you're going to get shown the back door pretty quick. So I think it's um yeah it's obviously pretty important to have 